With the final episode of American Horror Story Delicate being on the horizon, I thought it was only right to take a look at the trailer that was recently released and see if we could piece together how the ending of this divisive season could go. It's been a season that's had its ups and downs, and it was probably hurt by the fact that the show took a nearly six-month break between episode five and six. But nevertheless, after three episodes, we're only a few days away from the finale. So with that, let's jump into the trailer and break down all that there was to take away from it. Plus, I'll also give my theories and predictions and see if it will connect to Rosemary's Baby anymore. Here is American Horror Story Delicate Episode 9 Trailer Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So the trailer for the finale opened up, looking like it was following on directly from where the end of the previous episode concluded, with Anna going into labor and her being taken off of the stage. There appeared to be an ambulance speeding through LA, and whilst Anna was in the back of the ambulance, she said the line, the baby's coming, in a concerned state. This is obviously the moment that the entirety of the show has been building towards, so it makes sense that it's going to be occurring here. Along with Anna looking panicked, there was a scene of Dex in the back too, and he said the line, What did you do? He said this in an aggressive way, and I'm presuming that he's going to be speaking to either Siobhan or Ivy in this instance. We know that Ivy is there because she's seen in the rearview mirror looking back at Anna whilst driving. There was actually a moment where Ivy looked as though she was getting pleasure in seeing Anna in the way that she was and knowing that the baby was on the way. So I feel Dex could be aiming his anger towards Ivy. After the section in the trailer concluded in the ambulance, we then saw Anna lying down in a similar situation to how we saw Miss Preacher lying down before giving birth in 1987. There were five raven heads that were also present and walking towards her. Based on the latter part of the trailer, it seems like we've got the super fan that we always see, Nicolette, Ivy, Talia, and Sonia. When they arrived there, they said to Anna, join us, showing that she most likely has the possibility of being able to become one of the Ravenheads if she chooses to do so, something which I don't think she will do, but it would be very interesting and provide some kind of twist if she did decide to. Shortly after this, there was then a scene that looked like it was going to be taking place in some kind of flashback. It looked as though it was a flashback from the 80s, judging by the tech that was there and also the hairstyle of Siobhan and the decorations. So I'm going to presume that this could be one of the first times that Siobhan started working with Dr. Hill. We don't know how far back their connection goes, but we know that he was definitely working with her in the late 80s because that's when Miss Preacher had her baby taken away from her. And also, he was the person that delivered it. So this could maybe be him making some kind of deal with her, maybe being promised immortality and success if he carried out the work that she wanted him to. It feels like this is going to be a hostile conversation and one which has tension throughout it because it seems as though it's going to climax with Siobhan pushing her sharp claw towards Dr. Hill in a threatening manner. We didn't hear any of the dialogue in this situation, but I feel this could maybe be in relation to Miss Preacher or the first time that they met. Speaking of Miss Preacher, she's a character that I didn't really want to be killed. But judging by what happened in the previous episode, I think the Ravenheads that picked her up will most likely have dealt with her in the same way that Virginia was dealt with. So I think we may have seen the last of Miss Preacher. After this scene, we then saw the witches dancing around Anna in the same way that we saw Ivy, Sonia, and Adeline dancing when they were in Galway several hundred years ago. I'm presuming that this is some kind of ritualistic dance that they partake in, considering they were doing it after it looked like they consumed one in the previous episode. So it seems like they're doing this dance because they're ready for Anna to give birth and to welcome the purest product of them all into the world. What I find interesting about this is that we've never really seen Siobhan and Ivy together on screen. It's always Ivy, Talia, Sonia, Nicolette, and the superfan. And then there's always Siobhan and the two Ashleys, but separate. Even in that strange scene at the end of episode 7 when Siobhan was being intimate with Dex's father, there were two Ravenheads there as well, which I would presume are the two Ashleys. So it does make me question if both of these two groups are operating separately, but are fully aware that Anna is pregnant with what will most likely be the Antichrist, considering that it was described as the purest of them all. Even in the teaser for part two, which was released a couple of weeks ago, Siobhan was only seen with the two Ashleys. So I'm intrigued to see what the deal with that is, or if Ivy and Co are there to just retrieve the baby and then pass it over to Siobhan. The next part of the trailer then had Anna saying the line, you can't do this, as she screamed towards Ivy as it looked like she was then going to be giving birth. Within a clip from the previous trailer, it seems like Anna is going to be blindfolded during this process so that she can't see what the baby looks like, something that will most probably add even more shock when she eventually sees it for the first time. Maybe a what did you do to its eyes moment could be on the cards. 
One thing I noticed in this part of the trailer as well was that X wasn't there at all. He was there in the ambulance when Anna was taken there, but he was now nowhere to be seen throughout the rest of the trailer, so I do wonder whether or not he's going to survive. It was made out like he was a cheater in the previous episode with Cora, and whilst it is believable, there is still a massive part inside of my head that thinks it could just be a setup. Anna found Dex's secret phone when Siobhan was there. It just feels a bit too coincidental for my liking. Plus, we also know that Siobhan doesn't like Dex because of the fact that he made Adeline defect from them, so this could be Siobhan's way of getting her revenge on him for what happened all of those years ago, ruining his life in multiple different ways, killing Adeline, killing his mother, and making him lose his child and new wife Anna. The second part of the trailer then had us in a completely different room, and I'm going to presume that by now, Anna would have given birth as she seemed a lot calmer compared to the scenes that were occurring before. Here, Kim Kardashian's character Siobhan was there, and she was wearing the all-black attire that we've seen the Ravenheads wearing throughout the entirety of the show, finally revealing herself to be involved and showing that there was a wider plan at play. But to be honest, I don't think that's much of a surprise. Siobhan said the line, It's feeding time. And whilst I feel as though the trailer made out like the Ravenheads were going to feast on the demonic baby that Anna had just given birth to, I think Siobhan is actually referring to the fact that it's feeding time for the baby, and Anna needs to feed the demon. Anna followed this up by calling Siobhan a monster, to which she responded and said, I'm so much worse. A line that is probably true. It seems as though she's been around for thousands of years and seems to be doing all that she can to ensure that the devil and the Antichrist can roam freely on Earth. And then, following that, the trailer concluded. I am genuinely intrigued to see what's going to happen within this episode. This season of the show hasn't necessarily been the greatest of them all, and it probably sits in the lower half of the 12 seasons that we've had, but it has been entertaining to watch at times. I think my biggest problem with the more recent seasons of the show is that I just don't really connect with any of the characters or the journeys that they go on like I did in the early days. Anna hasn't had much development at all in this season of the show. She's no further along the road as a person in life when compared to what she was eight episodes ago when the season first opened. Plus, we don't ever really get any clues about what could be going on. This season feels like it's all relying on the reveal in the final episode, which is a risky move. But it's one that I am interested to see if they actually manage to land. With the stark similarity to the book and film Rosemary's Baby and them following a similar journey for the character, which includes the paranoia, the potential Antichrist being born, and not truly knowing what to do when met with the entity that she'll be giving birth to, I'm looking forward to seeing if it will end how the movie does, or if Delicate will forge its own pathway and alter the outcome that we feel could be on the horizon. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. So, there you have it. American Horror Story Delicate Episode 9 Trailer Explained. As always, thanks for tuning into the video and I'll see you in the next one.